If you've seen my previous review of Pencil, then you know that I'm running Facebook ads to test different types of ads. And this right here is AdsCook, an automation platform for your Facebook ads. And I'm excited to tell you that I will be giving away a lifetime license to AdsCook and I will share the details later in the video. So let's test it out. So this is the AdsCook platform and I am a big fan of the dashboard here. We get a lot of data and a lot of analytics and it's easy to understand. You can see here I'm running two campaigns that are at the moment paused. But here we can see everything from demographics, we can see what are the top placements, we can see top regions and just so much more great data. Up here we have basically an overview of all of our campaigns together where we can see conversions, clicks, spend and impressions. And these you can change if you want to see reach for instance or you want to see something else, this is possible. Furthermore, then you can change the date interval up here from where you want to see data from. And then here we can see some rule activity and I'll show you rules a little bit later. If you want to see more information about a specific campaign, then we can click on it and then we get the same view as on the dashboard, but we get it up here where we see the clicks, impressions, reach and a fourth one only for this specific campaign. So over here, it's a little bit duplicate to see this one down here as well. But it is great to get in and really narrow in to see what is working for this Facebook campaign. You can see we need to do a lot more of feed if it is converting. Because the first issue that I noticed with AdCook is that it's not pulling in conversions. Within the Facebook campaign manager, I do have conversions. So this is the first thing that I noticed that it's not pulling in. But let's move on to the first module where we can create a campaign on Facebook. What I often do is that I create a campaign for conversion. This is for a website and the conversion event will be sign up. This is a specific conversion event I have made. The conversion domain will be planter.io. I want to run campaign budget optimization daily. I want to use maybe 50 kroner. And then here we choose the schedule, which will just be continuously and the bidding will be lowest cost. Then we can move on to the next step, which is where we define the audience and everything I'm doing so far, we can do exactly the same within the Facebook business manager. So in here we choose United States is pre-selected. We can a B test the different languages, age, gender, basically everything. We can also make a custom audience down here. And here you can see that I already have a custom audience. So if I choose this custom audience, then this campaign will actually run as a retargeting campaign because it will only target those website visitors who did not sign up. So they're basically giving an extra chance. But other than that, I will keep this as is and then let's move on to the next step. And this is where we start building the campaign. So here we can choose to use a previous post for our campaign, both from Facebook and Instagram, or we can just start building it ourselves. For now, I will just choose the existing post. And now is where it adds extra value to this phase of creating ads. And it is automation. So here we can add things like scale profitabilities. We can scale best performers. We can pause when return of ads spend is negative and so on. For now, let's say scale best performers. And this is the first rule that we're setting up. So you can see that this rule is called scale best performers. It is on campaign level and this one will increase the budget by 20% until it reaches a certain limit, let's say 2000. It will run it once a day and here are the conditions. So if the return of ad spend in the last three days are within 30% or higher and the purchase are higher than zero within the last three days, then the spend will be increased by 20% until it reaches 2000. So here we can set and or we can set all. This means if I set it or then only one of these needs to be fulfilled right now, both of them needs to be fulfilled. We can also add tasks down here. 
if you want to add a new automation or a new rule. And here we can see that the rule should check every 12 hours and we can now publish this campaign. The next module is audience and within audience we can do again the same as we can do within the Facebook business manager. We can choose location, languages, we can A-B test them and we can add the custom audience as well. Choose where we want it to be placed and this audience we can then use when it is we create our Facebook campaigns. You saw this just before so I will move on to the next module. And the next module is where AdsCook adds some value to make it easier to create Facebook campaigns. Because even though Facebook campaigns has this media library when you start uploading content and uploading photos, images, videos and so forth, then this makes it a little bit easier because here we can save everything from text, headline, we can save URLs, we can save from Google Drive, photos, videos, carousels and so much more. So here we can make a carousel, we can add a photo, then we can add headline, link description, website URL. We can choose whether it should be video, slideshow or images. We can optimize the cards and we can do a lot of different things here to create these ad sets. And this makes it possible for us to just create ads faster, more optimized and just expect better conversion rate. So now let's move on to the last module, which is automation. And this is what AdsCook is all about automating your Facebook campaigns to just perform better. And it is the same as you saw before when it was that we created this campaign. They have right now these seven different templates we can use. It's not that many, but it is enough to get started. We can also just start from scratch, but let's try this one that's called activate late conversions. So this basically means right now I have two campaigns and they're both paused. So let's save this one and use it on the retargeting campaign. I will choose campaign level and I'll say the action is start. So this means that whenever return of ad spend in the last three days are higher than two, then start the campaign. This can be that you have paused your campaign and then after some days, the conversion start to roll in. Then of course you want to automatically start your campaign again so you can get some more conversions. This is what that is for. Again, we can set a schedule down here that it runs for every 12 hours. And that is basically the automation module. You can also completely start from scratch as you saw before up here and then you just build it out. And there are a lot of different things you can do. The conditions here, you have a lot of different options to choose between. It can also be that if you have too many clicks and too little conversions, then pause the campaign because then we need to work on something either on the website or with the campaign because there is a mismatch. So both for pausing, for starting, for increasing, decreasing budget, and maybe also just setting a budget, this is possible with automations. And it just makes it a lot easier to run these ads and on a daily basis, optimize your ads. Because if you have to do this manually, it requires a lot of time. So with AdsCook, you really save a lot of time using these different automation rules. And you can run AdsCook for as many ads you want and as many campaigns as well. The last thing is our activity log, which is just basically what we have been doing. And that is the AdsCook platform. Now using AdsCook, you can start out with a 30 day free trial. They don't have a free plan, but you have a lot of days to test out AdsCook to see what it's really worth. And then when you reach the point where you want to upgrade, hopefully, then your pricing depends on your ad spend. So the higher ad spend you have, the higher the pricing will be. And compared to the alternatives, I will say it is a fair price. And the first alternative is Ad You Need, a software I have previously reviewed on the channel. And Ad You Need are a step ahead of AdsCook, mainly because of their creation phase of the ads and then the fact that they just support more different types of channels. The other alternative is Scalify. And Scalify has the AI aspect of creating the ads. So Scalify helps us basically generating the entire ad and we almost only have to press publish and then we move on from there. I will also say both with Ad You Need and with Scalify, their analytics are more elaborative and overall they just add more functionality to the already great Facebook Business Manager platform. 
The thing I'm missing a little bit with AdCook is that they add that extra help, that extra functionality that makes it easier for me to create the ads. Right now, it is basically just the same as the business manager. Now let's take a look at the future of AdsCook and the first thing that they're working on, which is already almost part of the platform, is auto post boosting. And even though there was not a lot of information about it, as I understand it is that every time we make a post, this will automatically be boosted. Of course, we should be able to set up some rules because it's not all posts that we want to be boosted, but it's an interesting feature to again automate some of this Facebook the next thing is that they are adding integrations and this is integrations for Sapier, Google Analytics 4, Shopify and so much more. So the integration to Shopify and the e-commerce platforms make it possible for us to run Facebook retargeting campaigns with the catalog from our web shop or e-commerce site. But integrations to Google Analytics 4 and Sapier is a different type of integration because Google Analytics 4 is to pull in data to show in the AdCook platform, whereas the Sapia integration is to push information away from AdCook. But all of these different types of integrations will be very useful for all of us. The last thing I noticed is Google Ads. They are working on an integration to Google Ads. They haven't officially started working on the integration, but it is on their roadmap to get started with. Though I will say that I didn't see any TikTok ads, LinkedIn ads, nor Twitter ads. And the fact that they are not even part of the roadmap means that if you're looking for these type of platforms, it will take a while before they reach the ad code platform. Because right now they're focused on Facebook ads and really making a great product for that. Furthermore, after that, they will go over to Google ads and then hopefully at some point in the future, we will see some more platforms being part of AdsCook. Now, after using AdsCook for some time, I really like their analytics. It's easy to work with and it's easy to understand. The things I want them to improve is definitely the fact that they're not pulling in conversions from the Facebook business manager. And then they don't support other platforms than Facebook ads. And the creation of both ads and the audience doesn't bring extra value when we compare it to the business manager. AdsCook is a simple platform if you're looking to get started running Facebook ads and you might find the Facebook business manager just too complicated. I want to give AdsCook three and a half stars. It's a simple platform, but I'm really missing functionality and a more interesting roadmap. Now, if you want to win the lifetime license of AdsCook, all you have to do is three simple steps. You have to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and then let me know in the comment section, what will you use AdsCook for? I will find a winner 28th of June. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.